So, you're regarded as one of the best in the business. Tell us, how do you get the best out of a peg? I want the best out in business. A few end pegs, a bit of luck here and there. Um, I think, I think some that I consider myself as being a little bit of an advantage for me is that I genuinely love going fishing. So many people who are sort of in fishing or go too much, I think they let the pressure get on top of them. But like when I open my eyes this Saturday, for example, I'm going to Allcroft to fish a silverfish match. Cannot wait to go and cup some ground bait in and put a maggot on and kind of get a few bites. And that buzz of fishing, I, I can still get it from um, going grayling fishing on Upper River Don at Uterbridge with my best mates. I still get that same little feeling in the morning when my alarm goes off like, oh, I've got to go to work. Go, oh, no, we haven't. We're going fishing. Like, that little buzz and love of catching fish, I think, if you've got that, when you sit at your peg, it's your own little mission to get the very best from it. And it's almost like a little puzzle, really, because people say you don't want to draw here and you don't want to draw there. But it happens loads of times, doesn't it? Good anglers go and sit on a peg and do get a little bit more out of it or suddenly win off one that's not won from a while. And fish are wild creatures. They've got fins. They swim about and talk to people and listen to people. But at the end of the day, when you sit at your peg, it's down to you to get the very best out of it. Manage it, you know, where you're going to start, where you're going to fish in the middle of the match, where you're going to fish at the end of the match. If you're going to win, what's going to be your winning line? Have you given yourself a chance of winning the match? Have you put some bait somewhere that some big fish can turn up on where you could potentially win? Like that peg management and timing it right and giving yourself that winning chance is massively important so i think combining the mission of getting a few bites to start with with that positive attack sort of thing somewhere in between you know you're going to get some bites getting yourself a chance of winning the match and if your peg's good enough you can do it if it's not you're still going to have a good day's fishing and be consistent and enjoy yourself mm. so when you draw your peg do you decide that that peg can only like win the section or that peg can win the match. Do you decide that you're going for the match win or always or do you des decide that you're gonna oh well this time I'll just fish for my section because I know it won't win the match. Do you decide that or is it just something that happens? I never think I'm gonna sit here and try and win the match as such. I always think you've got to sit and try and get the very best from your peg and at the end of the day if you're sat down on your peg if at first you can beat the blokes either side of you it's all right that it's a bit of a boost in it it's not been in a great area but i've beat them either side i ain't done it that wrong if you beat them either side and then you beat a few more you might win your section if you're in the best section on the match you're going to win the match and i think really if you work on that basis get the best from the little area you're in to start with if it's a good enough little area in your section, you win your section, make a few right decisions, time it right, maybe feed that line that's going to be the killer line at the end. And if it's the best section, you win the match. It's a nice little plan for people, that, isn't it?